I'm from Texas. Uh, today I want to show you what my day-to-day -day is like in Orense, Galicia. For those of you who might not know, uh, Galicia is that northwestern region right above Portugal. This is my second year here in Spain. My first was in Andalusia, the southern part of Spain. And uh, I currently work at a vocational school, so I work with adults. So I got this job with the Auxiliares de Conversación program. Um, it is the Ministry of Education program, so I am here legally with a visa uh, for eight months. So next I want to show you a few of my students, um, and they will introduce you to our school and what we do here. Uh, so let's go. Hi, I'm Sabela, I'm a student at Villa Marin. Hi, I'm Nerea, and I'm a student at Villa Marin too. And we are studying tourism. And we are getting prepared to be in a reception or in a hotel management position. Villa Marin also offers students cooking, gardening, baking, and service sector courses. Welcome to our school start in front of the area. This is our bar, and here students prepare natural juices and cottage in their cafeteria and bar service class. So this is our coffee making zone. Here our students and teachers can order a different type of coffee like latte, americano, cappuccino and others. Food is also offered here, like sandwiches, pancakes, crepes and a lot of types of delicious food. And thank you for touring Villa Marin with us. <laughs> So those were two of my students. Um, I teach the English courses here and um, if you have any questions I'll go ahead and put a little box up there so you can ask away. So one of the things I love about living in a smaller town, uh, Orense has about a hundred thousand people, um, is that everything is cheaper. Transportation, rent, um, groceries, everything is much more affordable. Which allows you to save a whole lot more. And I will definitely be discussing uh, budgets and how much we earn here. So my visa is valid from the 1st of October to the 31st of May. And you can renew as long as the school that you are finishing in uh, rates you positively and checks off that you are good um, for the next year. I would choose Italy. I love the language, I love the food, and it was one of the most beautiful countries I've visited since my time abroad. I didn't find the visa application to be very difficult. Uh, I will say it requires a lot of patience and a lot of self-discipline because there are deadlines you need to meet and certain things you need to make appointments for with several uh, weeks in advance. So I currently work 16 hours. Uh, that is new rule for the autonomous community of Galicia. Uh, other regions usually work about 12, uh, but that is why I earn a little bit more than the average auxiliar. Health insurance is provided by this program. The duration is from the 1st of October to the 31st of May. Uh, which is the duration of your contract. I'm not sure exactly how much, but I've been to the doctor three times now and I've never been charged. I believe it's a couple thousand dollars. Hey y'all, so I want to give you a quick tour of the apartment. So the first area we have here, once you enter through the front door, is the kitchen. The kitchen is one of my favorite um, rooms of the apartment, mainly because of this beautiful tile that's all over the walls. Um, has a very Portugal, Spain feeling, which I just really love. Um, our stove is this one. Um, if I lift this up, it exposes the burners, but we normally keep it shut just to have a little more counter space. If we come this way, we have the living room. So, very cozy, very small, but only two of us live here, so it's totally fine for us. So, this is it. All of this came furnished and our landlady is from France and she brought us back these little paintings so we could decorate the apartment which is very sweet of her. Over here we have our bedroom. This is the only bedroom we use. Um, basic but um, 
nice sized bed, and plenty of storage space for us. This way we have the second bedroom. We don't use it since we are just a couple, but we do like to have this just in case someone comes to visit or needs a place to crash. And um, again, all the sheets were bought brand new by our, our landlady. If we come this way, we have the bathroom. Uh, this is our shower. We have uh, the toilet and the washing machine. So convenient to have it in the restroom. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> and lastly, over here, uh, this is what was supposed to be the third bedroom. But we so we decided to keep this room empty and use it as a little classroom for online teaching. And that's it. I'm just about done for the day, so if you have any more questions or you want to see a bit about uh, my travels, feel free to follow me, and thanks for watching. Bye!